Distance time graphs. Here's a distance time graph. We need to learn how to read it and we need some information. Well, first of all, we have the distance on the y-axis and we have the time on the x-axis. It could be in seconds, but in this case, I've got the 24 hour clock. That's 12 o'clock, that's one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, and in there, five o'clock. You also need to know that the gradient of the graph is the velocity or the speed. Now, what have I got here? I've got somebody traveling at a speed, and then all of a sudden there's no gradient, no speed. Well, what happens when you've got no speed? I'm standing here, time is ticking on, I'm not moving, I'm at rest. So here we are at rest. Then we've got some more speed, and then we've got a larger period of rest. Again, time's ticking on, no speed. Now what's happening here? We're going back down, negative velocity. Well, you can't really do negative velocity or negative speed. What's happening is that we're returning home. That line there is the zero distance line. Zero distance, you move away from your home and you return back home later on in the day, but you eventually end up having traveled away and returning back to a zero distance. Right, with all that knowledge, let's have a look at the question. I've got Sally and Debbie going to Cardiff from Bristol by car. So we've got B for Bristol and there we've got Cardiff up there. So they're traveling from Bristol. Now, I've got to describe their journey. Now, of course, you would write this down. I'm just going to describe it. So off go Debbie and Sally from Bristol at 12 o'clock. They travel at a constant speed, which is a straight line. It's not curved. It's a constant speed for the first half hour. And then after half an hour, they're 30 kilometers away from Bristol and it looks like they have a rest, a nice cup of tea. Then they end up having another constant velocity until they get to Cardiff. Look, they're in line with the sea, Cardiff, 70 kilometers from Bristol. And they have a, a long rest. That's for an hour and a half, hour and a half. Shopping trip, that's where I would go. And then they return back home all in one journey, no breaks, with a nice constant speed. So I've described it in words. You could just say that they arrive back home at five o'clock. Okay, how far is Cardiff from Bristol? Well, I actually, I said that, didn't I, in my words. I can see that it's 70. 70 what? Kilometers. So pop that there, 70 kilometers. How long were Debbie and Sally in Cardiff? Now Cardiff is up here, not here, they're not there. Cardiff is on that line. So that's where they're in Cardiff. So I need to know how long they're there. And that was between two o'clock and 3.30, an hour and a half, hour and a half. So I can just say here, one and a half hours. Okay, what was the speed of the journey home? That's home. Now that's the gradient speed, isn't it? Can you remember how to work out the gradient? If you remember your work on straight line graphs, the gradient is y over x, the difference in y over the difference in x. If you cut a triangle into that gradient. So there's the y, and there's the x. Y, 70. 70 kilometers, in fact. This bit here is an hour and a half. 1.5. I'm not going to do that in minutes because what goes into my gradient, kilometers, hours, comes out in the speed, kilometers per hour. If I want it in kilometers per minute, I'd put that into minutes. That's compound measure work, so you should maybe look at that video. So what have I got? Difference in y, 70, over 1.5. Pop that on your calculator, and you get 47 kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour, as I said. Right, let's have a look at the last question. When were Sally and Debbie 40 kilometers from home? Well, here's my 40 kilometer mark. And if I just draw a dotty line to represent 40 kilometers, 
I can see on two occasions they were 40 kilometres from home. On the way out and on the return journey. So I've got to give two answers. Now the first answer, you just drop a perpendicular line down with your ruler and that works out to be about 115, 1315. So I can say 115 p.m. And the second one, again drop the perpendicular down, just drop it down like that with your ruler. And I can see again, that's about 415. So the other one again is 415 in the afternoon. And there you go, a rather nice distance time graph question.